Hi, welcome to the tutorial and the topic is what shortcuts do I think are important? What do you really need to know if you want to work with i3 basics? All right, let's take a look at our new wallpaper. Variety shows us quite okay. So let's put it in our favorites. Oh, it stays there. What else? So a lot of things are open from previous tutorial. It's very easy. Super Shift Q and everything is gone. That's something you should know. Super Shift Q. All right. What is important? Control Alt T is important. Super Enter is important. It's the same thing. It opens the terminal. We're always working in a terminal in i3. Well, not always. Often. And then um, what else? If we want to close it again, super shift uh, Q, sorry, because what I did now was <laughs> tell you something else. I pressed super shift enter. That's something you need as well. That's always go to the files, always go to 2 and R. This is 2 and R. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go to our files all the time. Super shift return. Again, another one. So super shift Q. You might may, may have noticed that we skipped, we went from one to eight. And you do need to know that one is all the texts, uh, sorry, all the browsers, Firefox, Vivaldi, Google, Chrome, Chromium, all the browsers come to one. Workspace one or screen one, and uh, that's where they pop up. But as you can see, I can easily open their terminal as well. But if I press Ctrl Alt F, and F is for Firefox, it will open number one. I can also use Super F1, and it will open as well uh, Firefox in one. And then we get let's go ahead and use all of them: Super F2, Super F3, Super F4, Super F5, Super F6. That's our VLC pop up for Super 7. If you have VirtualBox installed, it's there. Super F8, Super F9. If you have uh, a mail client, in this case, it's Evolution that's installed. And Super F10 10 is for the guys who have Spotify. So all of these things have been installed. One, two, three. I have 10 screens. 10 monitors and on each monitor I have this specific kind of information that I need or require so I always know when I edit something it's number two if it's I'm browsing something it's number one if it's editing anything in GIMP and Inkscape and so on and so on okay so different workspaces do different things mm -hmm. fine if you want to get out of all of this you know bored with this i3 thing Super X is the button. Remember it, Super X also works in OpenBox in i3 if you have Arch Merge. And you can log it, log out, you spend, suspend, hibernate, shut down. Obviously, you want to log out or uh, shut down in that case. Escape and you're out of it again. What else do you need to know about i3? Well, let's first kill everything because we have uh, a lot of, lot of things are open, but if you want to know, Control shift escape it's a shortcut from some kind of operating system I don't know what it was again but this is super shift escape and you see uh, control control shift escape sorry and this is our memory that we're using and the process CPU is doing hardly anything and all the elements that are running at this point in time so okay let's kill everything now you can go to every workspace and then kill anything that's in there and it takes a while but you'll see it's all killed now so super shift Q great tool ah another great tool super escape is also a great tool but let's first start something super escape ah great I found something I have not included yet. So that's the X kill I want to have. X kill. And that's this thing here. And then it kills anything that's in there. So I'll have to check why the X kill is not working. But it will work in your release of i3. 
Another wallpaper is uh, better maybe. And uh, we just go ahead with the shortcuts at all available. Where are these available? These shortcuts in i3. Config, there he is again. He's going to say it. He's going to say it. Yes, guys, you need to read this. This is your system. This is i3 and your configuration is in here. And this is our menu, mod shift D. That's super shift D for you. This is what I want to run, GIMP. I want to run, I don't know, your office things and so on. So that's our menu. Alt F3 is another menu. Great, Alt F2 is another menu. Start Firefox. Run, and there it is, Firefox started. So these elements, um, the menus and all that, everything is in here. So I'm just thinking what else should I explain to be the really, really basic things to know. Well, I'm not going to go over all the shortcuts. There are other shortcuts. Ah, but two things I want to include in this video, and that's Ctrl Alt M, which is a great one. So we are partially working with stuff from XFCE. Some of them will work, others will not. It's not a problem. It's not an, an issue. It's not a bug. It's because we're using Thunar, and Thunar is from XFCE, so we need some of these things. We need to uh, change them here or the power manager or stuff like that so that's okay but ctrl alt u is also very one one that i use a lot because i have these bluetooth headset and i have to tell them hey guy um, uh, we have this little icon here down there which is called um, blueberry tray let's take a look blueberry tray if you run this application you got this little Bluetooth sign down here and then you can say hey that's my Bluetooth headset and you make you make it sure that it's recoverable that it's, um, it's then you can recover it now that you can find it eh? better word and then you have to select it in here and say okay look um, that's my system and playback with um, that headset that Bluetooth headset so that's what I use also a lot so the control M and the control U and those things are all in here. So take a look at it. A lot more information in this system. Here is the control M. It's another one. Control Alt M. That's that one. Control Shift Escape. Told you that one. And you have to take a look at what's in there and try it out one by one. And eventually you remember the ones you use that's why how what happens so the print for instance the print and the control print and the control shift print it's already done now it's in your pictures waiting for you take take a look at it it's going to five so this is my print screen that i made and um there you go so this information is in here the main things i've explained we can we can maybe also tell you super shift R from reload, but I've shown that in other tutorials as well. If you change something in your .config, in your i3 here, you change something here and you want to test it out, you have to reload it. You can also use super shift C, which is also a reload. It's a different name, but the C and the R, that's the one that reloads your system, your i3. And um, basically, it's um, in here. Go and read and have fun. All right. Ciao.